Hi, I'm Jared. I am Mark. And we're from the Broken Seal. Today, we're going to be playing all-time wrestling. Extreme. Um, you are not ready. <laughs> this is actually a Kickstarter preview of all-time wrestling extreme. This is a standalone expansion to all-time wrestling um, in which you are wrestlers, obviously, who are fighting each other and trying to uh, pin your opponent. Um, you have attacks. You have like special abilities you can do. Uh, there are reversals and other things like that. Some really cool things that are going on. Um, dis disclaimer, Mark and I don't really know anything about wrestling. It is present in the video, but it does not take away from the fun of the game. Yeah. Um, at least in my opinion. But we don't know yet because we haven't gotten to the yeah. finally thoughts. How do we know? <laughs> Who knows? Is the game We good? definitely haven't played it already. <laughs> no. we're, we're not this we're recording this afterwards. <laughs> Um, so again, thank you all for uh, watching this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check down below for ways that you can support us on YouTube memberships. Special thanks to Jad from Cation Games. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. There was a little fun moment we had about it. Thanks, Jad. Um, but thank you all for sending this to us. It's really fun. So without any further ado, take, take it away, away, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing All Time Wrestling. Uh, this is actually the Kickstarter preview for their newest standalone expansion, All Time Wrestling Extreme. Extreme. Uh, there's a link down below for people if you want to go check out the uh, the Kickstarter. Down here. Yeah, somewhere around there. It is. You're right. Because now I orient them, the recording, mm. so that like that is up. Yeah. In the recording. I'm, I'm always up. I'll forget up. it all the time. Jared's uh, always I'm down. always up. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, <laughs> um... So yeah, we play wrestlers, we fight each other, and hope to try and win. Um, the Extreme came with Rob Van Dam, Raven, Sabu, maybe, and Demon. Or is that Damon? Damon? I always pronounce it Damon because when I was reading Golden Compass when I was a kid, mm, they, that's how they spelled it. Yeah. But I'm, then when I watched the show, they call it Demons. demons yeah. So I was like, I don't know. Either way, that's Maybe it's that like a weird ass, like old timey spelling or something. something. Or like um, aluminium versus aluminum. Yeah. Like some kind of random ass weird like English. European shit. versus yeah. American. But yeah, so we're playing wrestling. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing else happened in Members. the interim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to preface this. I don't know about Mark. I don't know anything about wrestling. Of, of these four people, this is the only name that I really know. And that one sounds really familiar, but I'm also going to keep calling them. Rob Van Dyke, and I don't know who that is. <laughs> or just maybe Van Dam. Van Dam? Yeah. yeah. I feel like everyone knows Van Dam, right? Yeah. Um, my Sean. experience with wrestling is when I was a younger Mark, um, I was into it for maybe when like a year. A young girl. Um, uh, yeah, like a year. And like, I liked The Undertaker. I couldn't really, I remember that guy. I couldn't really tell you anyone else. Who, I think he's in one of the like other Mick things. Foley. I feel like that he's he's a guy too. You know, you yeah. know what else kept kept my interest for wrestling mm. for like my eighth grade year? The women were scantily clad. They were. They were and very scantily clad. And I was like, what? Also, I had a printer at home. <clears throat> like, damn! Look at that booty. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who do you want to be, Mark? Um, I will be. Which which one of these names sound the most interesting to you? Sabu. Sabu. All right, I'll be a. Uh, I am Sabu. Demon or Damon? I don't like off of the premise that I don't know how to say his name, so I'm gonna be Raven. I uh, shaved. You got a haircut. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed you got is, the haircut. This is this is riveting, um, but on this side, uh, I have a few you hairs have like a hair that right are by your ear. Than this side, yep. so I'm fucking with them now and it, trying to pull them out. It does it to me. I, I fucking I, hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Like when there's like it's like a few ear uh, hairs right by your ear, yep. and somehow they always get you missed. Know it. Always get missed. It's like fuck, man, yep. this is annoying. So this is you. Oh, flip it over. Nope. Uh, if you want, they have backstories about like who they are. Like Raven is a former world champion and hardcore legend, and a hardcore legend. Raven is a great brawler and a vicious individual. So if you, you know, if you are in it for the lore of wrestling, which I know some people are. Yep. Uh, put yours up a little bit more. Yeah, let's see what that Venn diagram is of, like, channel subscribers yeah. and, like, wrestling fanatics. Please leave a comment yeah. if you are a muscle, uh, a wrestling nerd, I guess. Yeah. Like, are you just really into M the story? Muscle they... daddy? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. If you're a muscle daddy. Are you daddy, a muscle daddy? Yeah, <laughs> leave a comment. I know The Rock. Oh, yep. yep. See? 
Uh, uh, so <laughs> I am a homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, what? death-defying maniac. I love the that's, stories because also, bad. like, you're a person. Yeah. Like, you're in the ring now, but yeah. we know you've killed. Yeah, we know you've killed. We know you've committed suicide, but you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> because, you, yeah. Also, like, Undertaker, like, there's a whole bunch yeah, of shit where sure. people die and come yep, back. He just it's comes weird. back. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, on screen, you can pause real quick. These are their stories. Maybe if you are a muscle daddy, maybe you could point out inaccuracies since this is still the Kickstarter part. They could change it. Maybe so you these could, are like real people. I'm 90% sure. Okay. Let's, you know, let's see. Uh, comment down below if these are real people. And, comment at uh, the exact time you knew that we didn't know about wrestling. And which it, comment like how dumb we are <laughs> yeah. in the comments. <laughs> Just like, hey, you idiots, you're playing this wrestling game. Yeah, his and name's you know Raven. nothing about it. Here we go. Yeah, for Scott sure. Le Scott Levi is an American professional wrestler, better known Damn. by his ring name Raven. So okay. yeah, comment about how stupid we are. Um, All right, Sabu, I see you, Sabu. <laughs> so this is your. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I have to do a clean take. <laughs> This one? So this is your character. Sabu. Um, quote the Raven, nevermore. So you see. The homicidal, have... <laughs> suicidal, genocidal, deathifying maniac. That's, that's, his... one, that's what mine is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, our how we track our stats and shit. So your max health is 14. Um, uh, the whatever the that red number ones? is. Yeah. Okay. Whatever your number on your card is. 16, suck it. There you go. Then. Um, this is what your low health is. Like when you get into the low health range, some things pop off. But okay. um, I don't think we, no, we do, we do mark that. So yeah, take another red one and then mark where your low health is. Mine's a three, what's yours? Four, put it Oof. next to the, the thing next to it. So that okay. way you remember. Then we're gonna get yellow cubes and you're gonna put your yellow cubes um, for your energy. So 14. Okay. Well, whatever your number is. Four. Yep. And then what your low energy? Low stamina. All right, we about we got about 14 the same. and 4. Yeah. yeah. Then these uh mark your your abilities. Jared will fix that in post. It's all right. Jared hates that Mark hits the microphone so much in post. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> Every fucking Every time we go to play. Every fucking time. Uh, <laughs> so these pop on here? Yes. Okay. So those mark our um Oh, I already said it. They mark our abilities. Okay. Um, some of them, like when you when you use them, you take it off. So like that way, you know it's like you've done that. In okay. This fight, you're not doing it again. <clears throat> then we have the dice in easy reach. We have the yellow token in the middle position on the momentum. Each player picks and chooses. So it'll say the heart. Like when it's heart minus, that's how much damage it does. Um, your goal. So like we get momentum as we as we attack. If you um get high enough you can try and pin people and when you pin them that's how you win the game okay um so you know like lowering health and all that and high momentum things are easier but um the heart is how much damage it does the thunderbolt is how much stamina it uses so like you go down that okay. many the icon the target icon is what you're trying to hit on the roll when you roll your die and then the fire is your momentum so like if i did an attack on you and it gave me one momentum i would go up one okay then there are also um, combos you can do. You see on the bottom right or left of the cards, they have like symbols. It's not on every card, but like there's circles and Wait, then there's the squares. Shit. Yeah. Okay. If you do something, so like they have to match up on the same side. Let me try and find one. There we go. So like if I were to do like this discus clothesline and it has this symbol here, I would then be able to play this because the symbols match. Oh, got but it. But okay. you see how this one doesn't have a symbol? You can't. I can't keep, continue okay. the combo. Okay. I've, I've done the end <clears throat> of that combo, basically. Um, what else has a mechanic like that? Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. I was going to say, right. that, was a, that right. was a thing that I was going to say that we could play after this. Because it's okay. like, I love Monster Hunter. Members talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And um, <laughs> members talking <laughs> like some shit. Have um, Coulter like um, yeah, we'll, we'll record something. Song. Yeah, <laughs> um, the ones that have a pin on the right side I mean obviously you are uh, it is, you could attempt These? the pin. Yeah, it's, okay. I'll say pin like down on the right. This oh, one. I yeah. see, I see. Okay. Um, the other symbols. One of them is for um, taunt. Uh, if you play the card and then you because after you uh, so there's like a playing the attack. Mm -hmm. And then there's a defense window, 
and then there's an attack there's an offensive ability window so like i then if i were to play the attack and i succeeded the attack i could then activate one of the abilities on there okay so like you could do one of these abilities or one of the abilities on your card so like this this john is taunting that means um the attacker draws cards gain stamina and momentum however this also allows the defender to recover health stamina and draw cards so like you you get to you see it on your character thing it says taunt oh i see so like if i taunt i get um one energy one uh momentum, momentum yeah. two cards same but then you would receive one energy one card and one health okay so that's why it's <clears throat> like it's like are you going to taunt yeah. so you can get that or are you going to because that's going to let you heal it's like a push and pull situation exactly. right okay then the recover that's the thunderbolt that one is um it allows the attacker to draw cards and gain stamina however it also allows the defender to do that okay and then pin allows you to attempt to do the pin and so it's, that's pretty much the way to win i want to make sure we talk about that for you now the primary way to win a standard match is to secure a pinfall or submission both of which are represented by the pin icon and will be referred to as pinfalls or pins to attempt a pin an attacker must successfully execute an attack card or ability that has the pin icon and then choose to trigger it during the offensive ability window the defender must now attempt to kick out if they are unable to kick out they lose the match and the attacker wins Kicking out, once pinned, the defender has three kickout attempts. Each kickout attempt, the defender rolls two dice. If the sum is equal to or lower than their overall health. Equal to or lower. Okay. Um, they successfully kick out, but the attacker maintains the initiative. So as you get lower health, it's harder. And these take away your health. Yes, your so attacks like, take away If I play health. this, I would it takes away health. my health or your health? My health. Like if oh, you do, okay. It's an attack on me. Got it. I would lose four health for that one. But then I'll, I'll leave that up here. I would lose energy. Yes, okay. like you need stamina to play the okay. the attack. You lose health, I lose energy, and then I gain momentum as the fire jump. Yeah. What's yeah. the little uh, crosshair jump? Target. That's what you're trying to roll. You need to get that or oh, higher when you roll. Oh, got it. Okay. Some things let you modify that, like other cards or some shit. Cool. Um, some give you like pluses and minuses. If you're playing your own card, if it's a minus health then that means that you're affecting me. If it's a plus health, you're affecting yourself. Same thing for energy. Um, if it's minus health, well, for the energy, the stamina is different because that's obviously um, what you call it. But there are some things that can modify um, targets. So like you can get like a minus two or a plus two target. Okay. So that's just something to know about. But um, so yeah, for the kicking out, uh, if the sum is equal to or lower than the overall health, they successfully kick out, but the attacker maintains the initiative, which means that they would still be able to play more attacks and shit. If the defender exhausts all of their kickout rolls, then they are unable to kick out and they lose the match. Um, the number of attempts can decrease or increase based off of like in the game. Before each kickout roll, the defender may choose to convert stamina into health. Each three stamina spent increases the defender's health by one. There is no limit to how much stamina can be converted. So like if you had a lot of energy left, you could spend it all to put your health back up so that you could roll and get a higher kickout. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's how you win. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Apparently, there's a referee stoppage if the player's deck is depleted. Um, that player suffers. Ah, it's a blind attack. They must draw another card until they find a card that they can afford. They cannot take any other action unless they resolve. And then if the player's attack deck is depleted again, then they lose the game via referee stoppage. Or a time limit, if we, if we agree. If both players have depleted their decks as explained above, and both players have played a total of seven blind attacks, the match ends. So we'll we'll do a kick out. Okay. That's that's so for in terms of kicking doing a uh, picking cards, you want things that have you want to be able to make sure you can play cards. So you don't want too many high damage attacks or high high energy attacks because yeah. you're gonna run out of energy too quickly. Um you also don't want things that have too high of a uh, a, a roll because yeah. then you're not gonna do it and you won't be able to also we only roll one die. That's good to know. So like for a six four. Okay. I thought we rolled two. This one has a six. That's yeah. fucked. Okay. But like I said, there are ways you can modify it. Um That's what the squid the little dice drawn does on the combos. Like if you do a combo that has the dice on there and it succeeds, then what, you get the, the I'm sorry, the green square. Oh, okay. Yeah. It makes your next one uh easier to to um to execute. What's that guy? That's the recover draw. Oh, okay. So when yeah. I play that, I can 
hit to recover? Yep. Okay. Do I have to, or? You do not have to, no. Okay, so it's just a choice? Yeah. Cool. All right, so let me get mine real quick, because I was telling you about it. <clears throat> Five. All right, I'll get that one. Four. Four. I have an attack called the Irish Whip. That's real weird to me. Okay. Like, all right, I guess. A little racist. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to punch, you know? Why not? So yeah, after we do that, then we shuffle our decks. You have an attack that's called a finisher. It'll have a little... Um... There's a little bit, uh, 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 icon on there. Okay. And then those, when you play them, they don't go to discard. They go back into your deck and shuffle. Okay. Because you can you you never, you always have access to that, basically. All right. Then, also, there's a player read there to help with the um, turns and shit. Um, each player then shuffles the rest of their attack deck and places them face down. This is called a draw pile. Determine the first player by rolling a die. The player that rolls the highest has the initiative. Four. Three. <laughs> so you have initiative, which means it's it's good and bad. You're going to think it's bad when I tell you this shit, but it's, it's still good for you. Um, so now you're the attacker. The player who does not have the initiative is the defender. The starting player then reduces their stamina by one. Fucking cheater. Shuffles one random card from their hand back into their draw pile. Oh, one random? Yeah. But one time Jared lets <clears throat> me go first. I didn't let you do me. anything. <laughs> um, so when you're attacking on that little card you see there, um, you have you have to do one of these. You can't okay. do all of these. So you would either do A, draw one card, and then lose the initiative, which means that I now have initiative. Uh, B, gain three stamina and lose the initiative. And then C, play a card. Okay. Um, as long as you... Oh, you can also discard a card if you roll. I didn't see that. Where do you see that? Uh, on four, step four. If uh, if the attack is unsuccessful, mm. you may discard one card to re-roll. That's cool. Also, I uh, for the developers, I love that you have things highlighted on here to call attention to it. That's yeah, that is nice. Good, that yeah, that doesn't happen very often, good. right? I don't think it's ever happened. Yeah. That's why I noticed this shit. Um, like, it's, it's... Good job. Yeah. Also, our hand limit is five, unless something else says otherwise. Okay. If you were ever to draw up above five, you could put one back into your deck. Combo chains. Certain cards have colored squares and circled icons depicting the card's left and right bottom edge. When these cards are chained together successfully, bonuses are applied. Players can chain together cards whose icons can be matched side by side with the same shape and color for one of the icons. That's the important part. Shape and color for one of the icons? So, like, if it's a green... Oh, a so green it doesn't square, have to be both of these guys. No. Like, it could just be the orange shit right. or the blue shit. As long as the orange circle, let's oh, say, is, okay. is present on both. Okay. And that's, it has to be... If, that's like, good to know. If that's on the right side, it has then to the be on, has to be on the left side. Okay. Um... Circle combos of the same attack give a plus one damage to the next attack that's successful. Okay. And then squares have, uh, they lower the next attack target uh, number. So like Ooh. how there's fives and sixes okay. and shit. Um, you still need to roll successfully for every card you have played. The letter G indicates the shape is green. Oh, for colorblind players. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. That's this is a game. Yeah. Yeah. This game's Mechanic good. wise, yes, like it's, it. it's doing good. Um... And so I figure you can put your, we'll put our attacks like up here. Okay. Um, so you start with the attack because then I'll tell you what happens when you go to defend. And I just do one at a time. Yep. Okay. So play an attack card, declare an attack by putting a face up, spend the stamina. Uh, three. And you already took the one for, for yep. being first, right? Okay. Um, then the defensive ability window, the defender may now choose to block a reverse, which by the way, this is a reverse. So, um... Trigger during the defensive ability window, you would just spend it. Okay. You get minus one uh, stamina, minus one health, and plus one momentum. And then you, I like if I did it, I would gain the initiative. And then that would negate the shit? Yes. Okay. Um, then you also have your own abilities. And like this one's always active. These would have to be spent. Okay. Um, which I know we haven't talked about before, but like that's just, you know, it's the game. <laughs> There's a weapon deck that they 100% did not mention. Oh, <laughs> I only noticed it because Raven's ability is called Trigger During the Offensive Ability. 
draw a random card from the weapon deck, then deal damage listed on the card. That's cool. Picking up weapons and hit. So, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't even remember where I was. Uh, I, so then roll one die. I'm not going to do. You're not going to defend? Yeah. Okay. CX. Well, you hit the target. Yep. So then you, um, if it mat or when, when it happens, if I get into low stamp with either of us get into low stamina, which is, you know, where this thing is on this track though, because it goes like up and then down. Yep. Um, if you get into low stamina, you get minus one to your target number. So instead of needing a four, you would have needed a three. Okay. Um, and if it's your, uh, your, your special things, your finisher or your special ability, um, you get minus one or minus two. Like this is what this area over here is. Okay. We both have it on, on each side. So this one, you become on a roll. Um, these two abilities need minus one. And then in the red, you're unstoppable. And then those two abilities need minus two. Okay. Um, so what happens if your attack is successful? Deal damage. So how much damage was it? Four. One, two, three, four. Um, deal one additional. Well, you, we don't have a combo right now. Adjust the momentum meter by moving it the number of spaces. So you got three. three. Damn. Two, three. Yep. And then my homicidal um, yeah. suicidal ability trigger after a success, successful aerial attack during the offensive ability window. Suffer one damage. Deal two damage. Uh, so I think you take two this more is damage. not yet the offensive ability window. But, gotcha. but do, I mean, well, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say you could still do it. That's next, but mm. um, but so then we adjusted that the defender compensation. The defender chooses to either gain one stamina or draw one card. I'll gain the stamina. Um, if the defender has reached their hand limit, they may draw a card and then shuffle one back in. Offensive ability window. Okay. You can only trigger one. That's also good to know. Okay. I'll pop that, that one off. That includes your combo. Okay. Not gonna do that. All right. <laughs> if the attack fails and down. Combo? Yeah. Ba bam So does this mean that this one is one less? Because it's a square. Yes. Okay. So I need to hit a five for this guy. Yes. It's a five. You're just saying shit because I can't see it. I'm just about to shoot. <laughs> um okay, so then that goes off. Yep. And that does five? Five. And I lose two. One, two. Maybe I should just do a reversal. This is just Mark's fucking popping off over here. Don't fuck with me, Jared. All right. Five? Yep. And then this comes over. One, two, three. And then I'm going to get another stamina. Okay. And then can I do... Like another one? No, because this doesn't have a combo there. No, but I have this I can use. What does that do again? It's a uh, trigger oh, after yes, six. Yes, yes. Okay. This one now, because after each attack, you then get to trigger what's ever okay. on here. So like, if it had a combo, you would be able to do it. Or if it had one of these drawings, you okay. could do it. So I'm going to trigger this. Okay. I'm going to lose one health. You're going to lose two health. All right. And I am now in the, uh, bah, bah. the uh, what you call it? The low health. Danger zone. Which was real fucking quick. I know that much. Well, it, it is supposed to be quick. Um. Okay. And can I try pinning you now? Because it says a discard little pin Discard the card symbol. by placing it. Discard the card by placing it in a discard pile next to your player board. Uh, and its successful attack means the attacker maintains the initiative and can take another action. So you don't get these. So these go to discard once you end the combo. When can I do the pin? That would have been instead of instead that. Instead of this? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So now if you're still you still now I still go mm -hmm. oh shit okay Ooh. um I didn't really think that far ahead now good I'm gonna pop off with this guy oh shit there's a flock deck fuck is a flock would you just call me Jared you mother flocker you mother flocker okay so this is minus one and then do I get any minuses because you're in the negative there yes hold on I don't know why I'm going through these I'm gonna fucking die. Death match. Um, so you would get minus one for that. Okay. And then because I'm at lower, yeah, you get minus one um, to to okay. your trying to match number. So I make it. 
Okay. I'm gonna do a reversal. Okay. After I separate these parts. And is that a defensive ability? Window or whatever? Well, uh... It's the defensive ability window. Okay. Why, you guys have any references? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> um... Go to defense. Defending. Reversal. Each uh, wrestler has one reverse token as a part of their abilities. Reversals are powerful one-time abilities that can be used to reverse any attack played by the opponent. This deals damage to the opponent and gains a defender initiative. Use them wisely. A player must be able to spend the stamina required. So Okay. So I take that I spend damage this. instead. Yeah, so instead of this, this gets discarded. Okay. Then you... I spend minus one. You take one damage. Okay. I get one momentum. This goes this way. And then now I have initiative. Okay. So now you're in the... Um, like defensive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, So I am attacking. So I'm going to start off with a right hand. So I just need to get a two. Three. Nice. Um, So then you would now have the defensive... Ability window. Okay. I won't do anything. Okay. So, so I go then down you one. take one, and I gain one. And then I'm going to combo it. You got real lucky with those rolls. I didn't. Yeah, I rolled fucking high. Like, that... <laughs> You're real fucking high. I did not think you'd <laughs> fucking throwing jabs immediately. Jesus Christ, none of these combo. Well, at least. Um, And green does... Minus. Oh, wait, but I get, like... The thing up, right? From which one? Don't I get the... I can either draw a card or put my stamina up whenever you attack Oh, yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I think I'll draw a card. Okay. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, Mark? You trying to cheat again? Yeah. <laughs> Always cheating mouse up. Always fucking cheating. All right, and then I'm going to do a jab. Uh, minus... Well, let's see. So I have to get... With the green, it's plus one damage. So instead of doing two, it'll do three. Six. Oh. So you, do, you take three. I lose one. And uh, then during tri triggered when pinned or during the offensive ability window, gain three health. Offensive? Offensive. So it's like when you played that shit, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'll gain three health. Yeah. Damn. Oh, cool. Okay. Um. And then I can't combo that one. So then this one ends. And then next, I'm gonna play. I thought there was some way you could like heal. Or maybe I'm just making that up. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah, for the uh, taunting. No, but I would gain heal if you did that. Right. Like I was trying to like mm, it, I was trying yeah. to remember what what the scenario was. I will <laughs> do a bless you. Thank you. Thrust kick. I'm gonna reversal. You piece of Fuck shit. Fuck you. You fucking just grab my leg and throw it. Yep. And then I take one. And you lose one's uh, energy. Okay. But gain one momentum. And now you have initiative, sir. I have motherfucking initiative. And then I can only pin if the card says pin, right? Correct. Fuck. And then I can only gain cards when I'm in the defensive. Oh no, I can draw one now, right? And lose initiative? Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna pop off with this guy. Um, it's going to do two damage to you if I get a three plus. Five. So I lose Hold on. two stamina. What was your target? Three. Five. Okay. Okay. I have an ability that would increase the number, but I was oh, trying to, I was trying got to, because you already get plus one anyway. Yeah. So, okay. So how much do I take two? You take two damage. Now, see, it doesn't say what happens on here. When you get to zero health? Yeah. Two. Blocking. A wrestler with low health has one less kick out attempt. Uh, we're coming back. Nope, that's not. So yeah, I guess I, we just keep going till you pin me. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about. Unless I'm, you know, reading this wrong, which I'm pretty sure I'm not, because they don't have a section on health. Okay. 
then I will draw a card from my next. If an attacker blocks three back to back, what do you block? Blocking my stamina. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Yeah, so there's not nothing in here about health. Okay. So we'll just add that. So I'll use my initiative to draw, and okay. then initiative passes to you. Okay. I think I just need to check something. Because there is no, like, bird deck that I can see in here. Oh, there's fucking... What happened? There's, like, nanobots in there. What the fuck? <laughs> That's how you can heal. <laughs> Wrestling has changed. Wrestling has <laughs> changed. Yeah, I don't know. Because one of my abilities is to play a card from the flock deck, but it's like, I don't I don't see a flock deck. Oh, they're actual people. I thought he was going to send out birds. All right, so uh, then we're on my turn. Yeah. These are my cards. I'm going to play... Um, you already used your drawing, right? Right, you reversal? I'm about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a, uh, a thrust kick. No, that was my discard. Are you fucking cheating, Jared? I was like, I'm I, watching I you. swear I tried that already. <laughs> and Mark didn't let me do it. Um, yeah. It looks stupid. I'll do a chin lock. It looks stupid. <laughs> Six. So I hit. So you take one damage. I lose one, but I gain one momentum. And then the resolution on that, I'm going to do this, John, the flock. Play one card from the flock deck and resolve its effect. Kaka Zion. I don't. I, I can't get into wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> there's, too, there's too much backstory. <laughs> I know that. Like just looking yeah. at this dude, I know there's that some there's shit. some shit yeah. that happened between them. Trigger anytime. Set up a, any weapon with the word table from the weapons deck. Raven can attempt a devastating attack with that weapon at any time, and gains minus two target. Your opponent cannot use that weapon. Note, you cannot play this card in a cage match. In the standard and team matches, this card is not playable if Raven's Rules has been replaced with another ability. It has not. Doesn't seem like it. So then I gotta get a table. And then I can do a deadly attack or some shit. Which I know is in the other one. Here's a go. Table. So I would need to get a six. Okay. But that makes it a minus two. Let's just roll first. Do you get any minus since you're No, apparently. There? Okay. That's weird to me. Yeah. I would have agreed. Oh. Well, you can re-roll. Can you now? Remember I said it. You may discard discard one card to re-roll. I'm gonna discard one card to re-roll. Jared's fucking cheating. I am. Yeah. Okay. CX. So the chair pops off. The table pops off. What does it say it was? A devastating attack? Yeah. I don't I don't think. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> it's 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 not clear where the uh items come in here. Cause this the base game book doesn't describe items at all. No. So that's like the extra shit or whatever, yeah, the but extreme. Then the only thing they talk about in there is that like there's a barbed wire extreme attack or some shit. But like that's not, this isn't a barbed wire. It's a motherfucking table. Yeah. So I don't. It's also not even saying, oh yeah, hardcore and barbed wire weapon cards. Oh, okay. So I just roll for it. Cool. So you got it? Yeah. So I got a six on it. It deals four damage. I'm going to pop off my last one of these? No. So I'm going to gain three health. I'm going to lose one. That's the math. Suck it. But I gained four stamp uh, momentum. Oh, shit. Because that was a barbed. That was a table. One, two, three, four. All right. And then I don't have any cards. So I'm going to uh, draw one and lose initiative. When do we see how draw more? I was, I was going to say, I can see how it slows down. The way you'd be able to do it is if you taunted or did a recovery. Oh, I see. 
Well? 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 I guess I will pop um, this slam off. I'm going to throw you with my fucking 24 pack. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's what happened. And then when do I, ta I taunt afterwards, right? When I yeah. do like the ability yeah. or whatever. Because you didn't get the roll, you, 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 you fucked it up. Uh, no, I'm pre pretty sure I got it. <laughs> uh, you only get a plus. Uh, no, you don't get that plus anymore. So then you do, I guess you're yeah, already I'm, I'm dead. You're fucking dead. dead. I'm, I'm you're just wobbling around waiting for you to pin me. Yeah, and I'll taunt. <laughs> All right. So uh, you gain health. Yes. And I get to gain oh. one stamina. I get one health. I one gain yard. one of these guys. And one of these. And this guy gives me one of these. And I draw two. I think I used my only pin cards in that first fucking no, thing. They, there are like three or four, I okay. think, in there. Because you have 15, like each of us have a 15 card deck. Okay, then this goes away. Then I'm going to... You know what I like to? Hmm. If you played like that taunt card, and then were able to draw cards that could in theory combo off of it, you can't because you did the taunting instead of the combo. Yeah, so like it's yeah, that one's dead in the water. Out. Yeah. Like, no, no. All right, I'm going to do um, Aerial Press. That's going to do... So you need a three, uh, a one or a higher. Six. Because <laughs> they're fucking minus yeah. two. Uh, okay. So minus two health to you. Oh, I'm, I'm down again. minus one stamina. And then I'm going to use the taunt again. So plus one stamina. Oh, 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 I'm getting back plus up. Plus one of these guys. I'm going to draw two cards. Hopefully one's a fucking pin card. I got a pin card. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. It's not. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. <laughs> um, I am then going to do the Camel Crunch. <laughs> These fucking names. Camel Crunch. Um, so you need a four or higher. Four to pop it off. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, four, yeah. Three. Fuck. That's right. Um, how do I reroll? You, if it is unsuccessful, you may discard one card to reroll. Shuffle the card back into the draw pile, then draw one. Oh, you shuffle it into the... And then I draw one? Why? You can just go and shuffle the card back into the... Oh, no, I see what happens now. If it's unsuccessful, A, you could do this. If you do not do it... Then the other shit happens. B, then happens. Okay, so I'm... Um, you discarding? Discarding. So then it does go to your, your normal discard. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. Fuck you. You could discard to do it again. Okay, fuck it. You can continuously do it if that's something you are into. Another fucking one. Nice. All right, you know what? Mark's going for it. Oh, you're trying to pin me. Fucking going for it. Five. <laughs> I'm going to use psycho psychological warfare. Um, you suffer a minus two. So instead of needing a, a four, you needed a six. You bitch. Psycho psychology. All right. Zion's over there staring at you. So then this guy goes so back. So then you fail. That goes, shuffle the card back into your, yep. your draw pile. And then, then I'll draw, one. draw one. And, and then, then you take I, initiative. Like a the, bitch. The birds. Caw -caw. <laughs> Caw -caw. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Cause, well, I'm not going to be able to pin you. So I'm going to do this. The running knee lift. I need a fucking four. Oh, I should have done that. Okay. Um, no, it doesn't happen. You oh lose. after your opponent's defensive ability window. Never That's mind. Right, motherfucker. Never mind. Oh, suck it. Oh no, I need a four higher. No, you need higher than that. Why? Why? <laughs> fucking just fucking reasons. I don't know. <laughs> so I hit you for for three. Okay. I lose two and stamina. I gain two momentum. The crowd's starting to like me a little bit more, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna taunt. So I'm gonna gain one. Um, what do I get? Gain one. I gain one. I draw a card, and I gain health. Gain two. All right, we're back in it, guys. They're gone. I'm gonna do a discus clothesline. I need to get a three or higher. Three. Okay. Uh, so you take two, I lose one, I gain two momentum, the crowd officially loves me. I'm going to do Raven's Rules, uh, trigger during offensive ability, minus two stamina, one, two. 
draw a random card from the weapons deck, then deal the damage listed on the card. Six? That's healing, though. Oh. So maybe just draw another one? Yeah. Because it did say weapon. Yeah. The fuck? Did we shuffle? I did not shuffle them. Because I didn't know... They were a thing. Because, again, there's no actual reference to, <laughs> to, to, to these yeah, cards. To using them. So I'm not sure. I think that this is what it is when they're saying, like... What is this, what they have on here? They have, like, a barbed wire weapon attack. But that sounds specific. Yeah, like, that sounds like one of the cards in here. Right, it doesn't, right. like, there's nothing on here that just talks about weapons. Okay. So, yeah, weapon. Trash can. You take one damage. And I gain one momentum. You just do the damage on it, though, or do you gain the momentum, too? You're right. I think it's just damage. Because yeah. there's probably some way to get items. Um, And then I'm going to boast. So you get the heal. I'm going to taunt, rather. Taunt? Okay. I might, be, I might be destroying Mark here. I don't think so, Jared. I think so. You can't You can't reversal me. Oh, so I the will. way the block works, since I've now done two attacks on you... Um, if an attacker plays three back-to-back -back attacks of damage two or less, the defender can choose to block the third attack by spending two stamina. And then, um, basically, I would fail the attack. And I get the initiative. Okay. Yeah. So this would be my third attack now that I'm playing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do a... Love me. Running Bulldog. I need a four or higher. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Um, Damn it. I'm going to discard this. Damn, Damn it. <laughs> that fucking one life, man. Discard this. Damn it. All right. I, I failed that attack. Initiative. So you're up. Okay. I'm going to play Punch. Oh, my head. Are you going to defend? Well, you got to roll. I thought it... The defensive window goes first, right? Or does it not? It's in the book. Yeah, play play a card from your hand, spend the stamina, defensive ability window, defender can block or reverse, and then I roll. Uh, where, are you, where are you seeing this shit? Uh, when you're attacking. It's highlighted. Defensive ability, yep. So are you doing anything? For some reason, I... No. Okay, then I'm going to spend this one unpredictable. Oh, no. So... Immediately after your opponent defense ability window, switch the attack card played with a card from your hand. Your opponent cannot defend against this new card. I'm open your ass. Oh no. So you can't defend against. No, do you have to roll though? I still have to roll. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was. That's thinking. why the roll comes, I think, after. Yeah. Fucking son of a bitch. Right, Mark. CX. And what did you need? I have four. Fuck. Yo. I can't I can't get Zion to scare you. Nope. <laughs> All right. Fuck you, Zion. <laughs> I was gonna be like Zion staring. <laughs> <laughs> so I take damage. And then I assume you're gonna pin. Yeah. Which means pinning. I only get two kick out attempts. Okay. So I have to roll I think I have to roll my health or or <laughs> Oh, but you have zero. Target so number it's... modifier uh, uh, nope. Here it is, kicking out. It's like your health are lower. Yeah, I think it is. Once pinned, the defender has three kickout attempts. Each kickout attempt, the defender rolls two die. The sum is equal to or lower than their overall health. They successfully kick out, but the attacker maintains the initiative. I'm not going to roll because I have a... Zero? I have a one. Oh, you have a one. And there's no way you can get less than a two. Oh, so I, I guess that's like... Yeah, that's I guess that's, that's, how, that's how you yeah yeah okay that, that's fair cool okay so yeah Mark Mark Camel clutched me I Camel Camel <laughs> clutched this fucking game dude fucking wrestling <laughs> oh I'm Camel clutched <laughs> I clutched your Camel oh lord all right um we'll we'll do the finally thoughts yeah finally Final thoughts uh, unpredictably Mark won. How do you feel about predictably. it? Predictably. That was one of the names of my uh, abilities. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I let uh, it's it's hard, right? Because I feel like if I liked wrestling, I'd be all about this fucking game. Yeah. I feel like this would be a five in my book if I was like any type of into wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, it's probably like a three point five for me, just mm-hmm. because like I'm not driving with like the, the the concept behind it. I think the mechanics super fun. Right. I think the mechanics like mirror wrestling a lot too where it's like give and take and like you have a few attacks and you can block and the other person has a few attacks and like you can try to pin a few times and then like all the shit happens and like you get knocked out um and it, like you said there's a cage match too which like kind of yeah. sounds cool but i think it's just the the settings not driving with me the setting i'd give like a 3.5 just because i'm not into wrestling the mechanics i'd probably give a four because yeah. i feel like they are like genuinely fun mechanics mm-hmm kind of what mark said as soon as you started talking i was like i'm gonna give it two scores yeah <laughs> i am not into wrestling it is present in the video <laughs> you should watch the video though um because the, the main reason why and i said it throughout the video wrestling has backstory like this yeah. is D and D level world building that Yo. they have people die and come back to life people apparently commit suicide and come back to life people are genocidal and yet we come to the arena to watch them fight. <laughs> and so it's like, <laughs> there's a lot going there's on. There's a lot here. of shit going on here. Yep. And I will say, because like I've played Viticulture, but I don't drink. Mm. Don't don't drink wine. I didn't want to get Viticulture because I was like, I'm not going to be interested in it. It has nothing to do with me. Like if it's fantasy or like science fiction, I'm fine. Yep. If it's supposed to be real world, like wine or we're wrestlers it, it's i don't know yeah the if it's like if it's something out. that's impossible to happen and like it, it, you're clearly playing a fiction then yeah cool yeah for it but like Which, if it's something in the real world you gotta it, yeah you gotta i'll you gotta give drive you with it. i'll give you the fact that you can easily say but just think of it as fiction yeah and it's like yes but i i, I can't because the rock has transitioned from whatever his lore was in wrestling to now a, an actor who's in everything yeah. i feel like it'd be like someone and again like i feel like the the mechanics are great and i think the game design's really cool but it's like someone who doesn't play who didn't play like um final fantasy or anything like that or someone who doesn't play um what's it called monster hunter monster hunter. and you're throwing them into the game like granted i really liked it but i just like video games um but like and you're thrown into the game and like you don't have that nostalgia factor so it's going to affect oh, like like your, your enjoyment. Yeah, Slay the yeah. Spire. Yeah. So I think that's that's kind of what's limiting it for my score, at least. And I, I would say, I don't I don't totally know if this is what you were getting at with it, but it, I, it was a thought I had partway through where it's like, a, if a game has a, an IP attached to it and you have no connection to that IP, then like there needs to be something there that like grabs you instantly. Yep. And like Mark said, the mechanics of this are very fun. I it kind of reminds me of the universes world where like I only played it for My Hero Academia, but they have like a Yu Yu Hakusho card deck you can get. Oh, that's cool. And like you can build out attacks, but like there's basically they just pick IPs, make it into a fighting game, and then you can have like Bakugo from My Hero Academia fighting Yusuke Yurameshi mm. and like shit like that. So like it kind of reminds me of this where it's like you have these characters you have these abilities and stuff like that and then you play your cards out to do it um the mechanics very fun i like i like the idea of your card your attack deck being limited like the ones you have in your hand um i like the fact that like much like real life well much like the story we're led to believe in wrestling it's le- it's up to chance so like the dice roll yeah mark just got really well but you know like maybe in the lore of this game it was scripted that that Sabu was supposed to get me with a camel clutch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking camel clutch. <laughs> While Zion stands nearby. And like maybe that maybe <laughs> this is a fight that happened in real life. Yeah. And I would love to know if people have connections to these characters. Please leave a comment. Yeah. Just tell me how you got here. <laughs> <laughs> how do you get Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> at the end of the day. If you love wrestling, go get this game. Because like, you're please, gonna, you're it gonna is have a very a, good game. You're gonna have a shit ton of fun. If you don't love wrestling, you're not super into wrestling. Um, you might not have that like fun of a time, but I feel like it's still like a fun game. I'm gonna tell you this. 
I'm probably gonna back this game. Okay. For the sole purpose of I want to play this of the camel clutch. Is I want to. I, I want to play this and just be like over the top, like like presenters and shit just be like oh and then sabu gets him with a camel clutch you're gonna have like the face paint on yeah. <laughs> next game night that we come over i'm gonna dress like zion <laughs> and i bet you we could get colter into this shit yeah, he'll be high sure. as hell but yeah for so sure. um the game's very good it's so yeah. i would say this is a, a rare one for us because we don't normally dissect the two uh, rules gameplay wise this is a solid four out of five yep setting for mark and i because this is a very uh, niche opinion. What's like? Oh. What's like? This is like. This is all very objective. Um, Mark and I just aren't wrestling fans. Yeah, and that part of it brings down the fun a bit to a three point five out of five. Um, but also with the with the you know acknowledgement, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, solid game. Go get it if you love wrestling. If you like wrestling, at least. Go get it. Yeah, like if you like wrestling, if you love wrestling, no brainer. Go get this game. Yeah. If not, it. then like you're you'll, probably not. You probably get still have thing. fun, yeah. but like you'll have more fun if you play with someone who knows wrestling because yeah. I feel like they'll kind of interject a little bit more. But. Yeah. Like when when we played Slay the Spire and I was like, oh yeah, this thing. Yep. And I was like, oh yeah, that thing. Like we were, and, at least one of us knew it. And the next time when all four of us played, both of us were <laughs> like, oh yeah, this thing and this thing. We're kind of like, fuck that guy's. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, calm down. Coulter guys. and Hank were probably like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so why are we still here? Yeah. And then ten minutes later, I get it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Right down. Check here. down below for ways that you can support us on YouTube memberships and to check out the Kickstarter for. All time wrestling extreme. extreme. Also, remember to leave a comment if you like wrestling and came to this. Yeah. I just want to know your story. Tell, tell us your story. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, special thanks to Jad from Cation Studios for sending us this game to review and catch you all next time. Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do. Cation. Cation. <laughs>